everybody and welcome to another episode of the Linux Guide. Today I'm going to be talking about changing Linux icons, making custom icons in Linux. I'm going to use a few programs to do this. The main one you need to learn about is called a la carte or sometimes you'll see it called main menu but the package is called a la carte. And that's this program here which we'll get to in a minute. I'm also going to use GIMP to make some basic edits because of some requirements of making icons. So let's get started. The program I'm going to make an icon for today is called MeshLab. And you see right here, it actually doesn't have an icon. Now this will work for something that actually already has an icon as well, but I'm using this one because I wanted to have an icon and it currently doesn't. Well, I went ahead and downloaded the actual official icon for MeshLab, and it's this eyeball, which is sort of weird looking. And if I open it with my image viewer, you'll see it's a JPEG and it has a bunch of white around it. Well, JPEGs don't support transparency, which is why you see the white, and we don't want that. So let's fix this icon so that it can work well. Let's open it with GIMP and make it so it's a transparent PNG instead of a JPEG so that we can use it. You'll also see that it's not RGB that GIMP recognizes. If you're using GIMP, you can just convert it. It's not that big of a deal. So let's use our magic wand tool and select all of the outside. And we'll go to layer transparency, add our alpha channel, hit delete. The checkerboard means that that's going to be rendered as transparency when we export this. So there's our icon, and we will go ahead and export as. We're going to call it meshlab.png because we want meshlab PNG instead of a JPEG. So there we go. We'll export it. Leave all this stuff the defaults, and we can get out of here now. We don't need GIMP anymore. Now I've got two files, and you see if I open this now, there's checkerboards. Again, the checkerboards refer to transparency. I'm going to delete the JPEG because I don't need it anymore. Now. We could take this right now and make it our icon, but I'm going to show you something else that I recommend you do because this will make this available to other users. So I'm going to go ahead and open a terminal window and go into my downloads right there. And I'm going to clear it and how about I make it a little bigger so you guys can see it a little bit better. So I've seeded it in my downloads and I'm going to move this file. So to do that, I'm going to do MV mesh lab and then I'm going to put it in my user share icons folder as meshlab.png. Now, it's going to fail. Why? Because this is a root folder and we need sudo access to be able to do that. So I'm going to do that. If you don't have super user access on your machine, you're not going to be able to do this. Get a hold of someone who can help you if you want this available for other users. All right, we'll go ahead and do this. All right, you see it disappeared from my file manager there. That's because it got moved. And we don't need this anymore, so let's close this. Now, I'm going to open Main Menu, which I can also search a la carte, and it comes up with it. Uh, that's because they're the same program. So if you want to install a la carte on a Debian-based system, the package name is called a la carte. However, if you search for Main Menu in the Pop Shop or in the Ubuntu Software Center, you should still find this software. And here it is. Basically what this does is it's a simple graphical interface for you to make icons. It has different categories, and sometimes these make sense. Sometimes they don't. It tries to automatically categorize your stuff for you, but it's not always perfect at it, so you may want to end up moving stuff from where it auto assigns it. You see right here in graphics, I have MeshLab, which actually makes sense for it to be in graphics, and it doesn't have an icon. So I'm going to click Properties, and here it says No Icon. Well, I can just click that, and now I can pick a picture. Now you remember when I said if you wanted to do it right from downloads, you could. I could go ahead and click that, but then I would have to leave the file there forever. I could also put it in pictures in a folder that says do not touch if I want to keep it only on this user. I don't want that. I want it available to everyone, so I put it in a folder that everyone has read access to, and that's in this user share icons. Now if I scroll down to the bottom, you should see my mesh lab. There it is, meshlab.png. We'll select that and click OK. And there it is. So we'll click OK. Give it a second. After we've given it a second, let's look for Mesh Lab. And there's our new icon. So that's how you do it. Lots of programs either come with kind of crummy looking icons. Maybe you installed an icon pack and you have a program that's not supported and you want to make your own. Or maybe you get some program like Mesh Lab here which didn't properly show me an icon in the first place. MeshLab has an icon, it turns out. When you open it, it's already it was already here, but it didn't show up in GNOME. 
Well, this little trick right here made it real easy for me to fix that little problem. And now, Mesh Lab has an icon, as you can see right here. One thing to note, it might not appear everywhere until you log out and log back in, so if you're not seeing it everywhere, go ahead and try that, and you should see it populate everywhere then. As always, thank you for watching The Linux Guy. Make sure to follow us on Library. Feel free to shoot us a tip if you feel so inclined, and we will see you in the next one.